All right, who can tell me the area of this quadrilateral? Jerry? Um, um, uh, hey, I, I, is that the iPhone 13? Yeah, why? You did the reading I'm assignment. I'm just surprised your parents got yeah. it for you. They did it. I bought it myself. You're kidding. I can see afford to pay for it. Do my business. Isaiah, instead of paying attention to your phone, maybe you should try paying attention in class. Then you'd be able to answer the question. What do you mean? I can answer it. Okay. Why don't you come up and show us? Nice red button. All right. I'll start by labeling each corner. Let's call this one A, this one B, this one C, and this one D. Next, I'll draw a line between B and D. So what two shapes does that leave us? Jerry? I don't, what? I don't know. Triangles. That wasn't a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little man, you better watch out. Hey. He was just being playful, okay? Since we know ABD is the right triangle, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can get BD by 15 squared plus 15 squared equals 450. But also, it's not difficult to figure out 21 squared plus 3 squared is also 450. Which tells us what, Jerry? Yo, I'm not playing around with you, Isaiah. I'm serious. That BCD is also a right triangle. Great job, Jerry. <laughs> now that we know both are right triangles. How is he so smart? I don't know, but I heard he skipped a bunch of grades to get here. Plus one half times 21 times three, which gives us a grand total of 144. Right, Jerry? I'm so impressed, Isaiah. You got it right. High five. Great job. All right, I graded everyone's test. Make sure you grab yours on the way out. Nicely done. So, how did you? Hey, you can meet me in the alley after school. You gonna pay for this. Uh, okay, I'll be there. Sorry about the weird interruption. What were you saying? <laughs> You're not scared of him? Nah, he needs me. He just doesn't know it yet. Jerry. Forgetting something? Oh, yeah. If your grades fall too low, you won't be able to play football, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm working on it, though. Yeah. There you are. Thanks. Isaiah, great job. Perfect score. Thanks, Teach. Next time, you may want to think twice before calling me out. Probably gonna chicken out though, huh? <laughs> you know he's not gonna come. Okay. Come here. So you making me look bad in front of the whole class, huh? To be fair, you made yourself look bad. Which you're about to do again right now. Oh, okay. You got some nerve, huh? Oh, all right. Let's see how tough you are once I beat you with these fists. I'd rather beat you with my wit. It's a lot more rewarding. <laughs> No, 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 you don't want to do that. What? What do you? Yes, I do. What no, else? no, dude. No, you don't. Trust me. You need him. What? What are you, what are you talking? Why would I need this little twerk? That's a good question. How about we go somewhere a little more private so I can explain? Okay. What? That was lame. Coffee? Um, uh, no, I'm, I'm good. Yo, where, where the heck are we? My office. How do you have an that office? That D plus in your geometry test is really gonna set you back. How, wait, how, how, do, how do you know about my, my, my grade on Don't worry about it. It just does. Isaiah knows everything. The reason we're here is because there's no way we're gonna beat the Thundercats in the championships without you. We need your grade to be at least a 2.0 for you to play. And that's where? Isaiah comes in. According to my calculations, <clears throat> factoring in your field geometry test, that puts your GPA on track to be a 1.94. Now, you do have an upcoming essay that you do in English on Friday. And if you can get a perfect score, 
That should bump your grade up from a C to a C plus, which would change your GPA from a 1.94 to exactly a 2.0, meaning you'd still be able to play. Okay, so let me get this straight. Y'all brought me all the way over here to tell me that I need to get a, a, a good grade on my essay. Come on, man, I, I know that. It's not a good grade, it's a perfect grade. Something you can't do by yourself. But Isaiah can help you. <clears throat> I do offer different packages. The one you'll need is gold, which costs $299. There is a 10% discount if you decide to pay in cash. Is this serious? Like, y'all for real? How do you think we got our GPAs up? Coach is happy with us. My mom's happy. I'm happy. It's a win-win for everyone. So you're saying, if I give you $300, you will guarantee me a perfect score? Yep, and by doing so, we can also guarantee that the Coyotes will once again defeat the Thundercats. So, the school wins too. Wow. So you guys really don't think I can get a 2.0 GPA of my own? Dude, let's be real. It's not gonna happen. English is one of your worst subjects. You need him. Afraid he's right. Let's face it, we all have our natural abilities. Yours is brawn, not brains. Listen, you are so lucky that John and Devin stopped me from punching your face in. I should've just beat you up when I still had the chance. Yo, whoa, where are you going? Look, yo, I'm not, okay. I may not be very smart. Come on, y'all. I'm not a cheater. Sorry about that. We'll talk to me. Get your money, okay? Don't take too long. The slides are filling up fast. You have a MacBook Pro? Let me guess. Your business paid for it too? Bingo. And what exactly do you do? Let's just say I'm a consultant. Mm. Consultant that's just one step away from going to UCLA next fall. I thought this was your junior year. It is. But my mom said if I can get all A's and pay for everything myself, she'll let me skip my senior year and go right to college. That's why I started my own business. But why would you want to do that? To break a record. Did you know the youngest person to ever graduate from UCLA was 15 years old? I intend to do about 14. Wow, yeah, that seems super... Impressive? No, no, I was gonna say Bam. How could you say that? Do you know how big of a deal it'd be if I pulled this off? I'd make international news. I'd win awards. I'd be publishing magazines and I'd be at books. I'd have a Netflix documentary about me. I'd have a movie on Hulu. I'd be on HBO Max. My lead power level would be over 9,000. He's in. He was too embarrassed to want to tell you himself. It's from Jerry. I, I didn't count it. You can if you want, but I'm pretty sure it's all there. <laughs> that won't be necessary. And, and, we need to talk business at school. Oh, right. Sorry. So do we have a deal? By the way, you're gonna finish writing my essay? <laughs> Sorry. Wow, that was awkward. So by telling me that you're a consultant, you really mean that people pay you to write their essays? What? No, why would you assume that? I was wondering why Jerry didn't beat you up. No, that makes sense. Wait, you have it all wrong. That's not what I do. Then why does that essay say by John Awadis? I... Shh, please don't say anything, okay? I won't have to. Cheaters will eventually get caught. One way or another. We'll see. Where are you? Light bulb. Mm -hmm. Hey, honey. How was school? Easy as always. Guess what I have? What? The rest of the money I needed for my first quarter at UCLA. Wow. I still don't understand how you're able to make so much money so quickly. What can I say? I guess I'm just a genius. Is that sandwich for me? Yes, it is. Why don't you have a seat? Uh, that's all right. I've actually got a lot of work to do, so I'll just eat in my room. Okay. But just to confirm, you're still good with me going to UCLA next year, right? I don't see why not. Well, as long as you get straight A's again, which I don't think that'll be a problem. Great, thanks, Mom. Huh. Hello, Sally? 
<laughs> it's been a while. Hey. What do you want? Come on. Why are you upset? Because what you're doing is cheating, Isaiah. I'm not cheating. I'm more just helping others. I was given the gift of intelligence, and now I'm just sharing that gift with others. For a small price. Okay, listen, Isaiah, you're smart, but don't think that you're too smart, okay? Or it'll come back to bite you. Whatever. Hey, fellas! Look what I got. Both your essays. I also have Jerry's if you guys wouldn't mind giving it to him. Actually, we're good. Yeah, we decided to just write them on our own. Huh? But I don't understand. Where are you guys going? Isaiah! Uh, yes, Principal DK? Come with me. Okay. <laughs> Mom? What are you doing here? To have a seat, Isaiah. Uh, okay. So, uh, what's going on? Why don't you start by telling us about your little business? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Jerry's mom called me and told me everything, including your little proposition you gave Jerry. Proposition? Mm-hmm. Look, I didn't want to say anything, but Jerry came to me and asked me to write his essay. He was worried he wasn't going to be able to play football if he didn't pass. He even gave me an envelope full of cash and everything. You should suspend him. Oh, you mean this envelope? Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you confirmed that. You know, I had a hard time believing all this. Until I looked inside. But it would be money in something. Why not? I'm not paying you. This is all made up! But you were the one who handed it to me! Look, you're not getting out of this. Isaiah, why don't you just quit the act already, man? Jerry told us about your little consulting service. That you offer different packages? He's lying! Don't believe a word he says! Okay. You care to explain where Jerry got this? Uh, he made this up! I've never seen this before in my life! I certainly would never agree to write someone's essay for money! Wow, you just got an excuse for everything, don't you? Alright, well let me ask you this. What's your excuse for this right here? Uh, that was for something else. Uh, 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 it certainly has nothing to do with what we are talking about right now. Mm hmm Come on. I really don't think I need to explain anything else. But if you guys need any more proof, I'm sure you can go check his locker. Yeah, I'm sure the essays he wrote are in there. Let's go, Mom. Wait. Why would you do this to me? To be honest, at first, I wanted to beat you with my fists. But, then I realize, oh, it's so much better to beat you with my wits. Good luck, Isaiah. <clears throat> How about we start over? No. Oh, God. A minus is actually really good. Yeah. Thank you. It's just, uh. It's not good enough to get this GPA up to the 2.0, though. Yeah. Well, dude, the team is super bummed that you can't play in the game with us tonight. But it's all right. Hey, hopefully, I'll still win, okay? I got this. Hey, Jerry, you're not gonna believe this. What's up? You boys mind giving us a minute? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. So we reviewed the test results from geometry. And it turns out not a lot of students passed. That's why we decided to implement a grading curve. You did? So that would bring up your geometry grade to a C minus and your GPA a 2.0. 
So technically, that would be enough for you to be able to. Uh, be able to play the game! Oh, oh, it's oh, my game. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait. Uh, wait. Is this is this for real? Like, no cat. Sure. Uh, no cat. What does that mean? It, it's a good thing. Oh. It's, it's a really good thing. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Let's go. Boy. Let's go. Oh, hey. Hey. I know. I know. I should have listened. So you really have to repeat junior year? Yep. So there's no way I'm breaking that record anymore. Well, that sucks. And I had to pay back everyone. So I'm completely broke. Plus... You have to pick up trash. For the next three months. My life is literally over. I mean, I... I did try to tell you that... Shooters always get caught, one way or another. You were right. Um, so, do you think I could, um... Yep. Thanks. Club. When did this start? I wouldn't bother. I heard it's full boys. Yeah, they probably won't even let you in. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Once they see how much I know about robots, I'm sure it won't be a problem. They're about to start. Let's go. I know it transforms upright into a robot. I just... Hi, I'm Simone. Is this where the... Pottery Club's in room 214. No, I'm here to join the robotics club. Nice, come on in. <laughs> you, a girl, want to join the robotics club? Get real. What do you mean? Girls can do anything boys can do. Besides, I've been working with robots since I was five. Well, you think this is like playing with Barbies or something? You need real programming experience. Of course, I know HTML, Java. We program in Python. Great, Python's like a second language to me. So much less coding than C++. <coughs> Whoa, that's, that's awesome. We could use another programmer with. Look, Simone, even if you did know anything about BattleBots, which I highly doubt you do, there's no girls allowed. So get lost. Don't talk to her that way. Yeah, you should be honored she even wants to join. Whatever. This is my club. So my rules. Like I said, the Pottery Club's in room 214. Now. If you don't mind. You just made a huge mistake. You missed out on your best member. <laughs> Bye. Anyways, back to what I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Okay, try now. What's wrong with this thing? I don't know why it won't transform. You might need to start from scratch. Or exchange it for a new one. Yeah, we've been stuck on this for weeks. I'll be back. I'm gonna go use the restroom. I can't stand him. Someone needs to teach him a lesson. We should just start our own robotics club and exclude him. Right, Simone? Simone? Oh, sorry. Can you girls give me a sec? I'll be right back. That's the Robo-Centini Transformer, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be. Right now it's stuck as a race car. We've been trying to figure out how to get it to transform, and <laughs> we've tried everything. You guys mind if I give it a shot? Sure. What do we have to lose? Hmm. One of the servo motors might be off. I see what's wrong. Do any of you have a soldering gun? Uh, no. If I had one of those, I could permanently fix it, but for now. That should do the trick. Try it again. Yeah, okay. Whoa, I think you figured it out. What are you doing here? Oh, 
I was just trying to help fix your robot. Does it look like we need any help? We're fine. Just go back to your table. Wait, I think she may have fixed it. Look. Yeah, right. If we can't figure it out, she definitely can't. What are you waiting for? I said go. But I was just trying Girls to- Girls are meant to play with dolls, not robots. Now scram. I can't believe her. I think she knows what she's talking about. Yeah, right. A girl. He's being serious. Can I see the- I'll figure this out later on my own. Let's go. Boys, you won't believe this. When I got home yesterday, it started working. I think I finally figured this out. Uh, are you sure you don't mean Simone figured it out? What are you talking about? Hey, I brought my soldering gun so I could... <sighs> not you again. How many times do I have to tell you that you're not welcome here? Boy, just give her a chance. Yeah, she's the one who figured out how to get it to transform. Ha! You really think some girl would be able to fix something we couldn't? Ugh, you should really get off your high horse. And she can do way more than you could do. Yeah. You should be lucky she even wants to join your dumb club. Hang on. Look, I don't want to argue with you, but I know how to build robots. Check out this one I put together last summer. <laughs> A unicorn? So typical. What do you mean? Listen, the whole point of this club is so that we can build robots that fight and win as tournaments. Your little sissy pony is as useless as you are. Just forget him. Let's go. Wait. Just give me a chance. Please. My vote is yes. Yeah. Mine too. Yeah. Same. <sighs> Fine. I'll give you one chance. If your little girly unicorn can knock down my transformer, I'll let you in the club. But if mine knocks yours down, you never bother us again. Deal? But mine isn't meant for fighting. At least let me make a new robot. <laughs> See, boys? She's making excuses already. If you're too scared... It's fine. Let's do this. So is this going to be two out of three? Or... Forget that. First one to get a knockout wins. Ready, princess? Ready. On your marks! Get set! Wait! Check this out. Whoa! Whoa. That's so cool! Right? I told you I fixed it. Now I'm ready. Go! That was too easy. That wasn't fair. Mine isn't meant for fighting. And the only reason yours stood up was because I fixed it. Wow, and you're a sore loser. See, this is why girls don't belong in robotic clubs, or any competition for that matter. Now, take this girly crap and get out of here. Come on, please just- You lost the bet. Now go. Do you guys see how a robot transformed? That was so cool. Who does he think he is? I think it's about time to start our own robotics club. Yeah, just for girls. What do you think, Simone? If we do that, then it makes us no better than they are. We need to be inclusive, not exclusive. Mm, she does have a point. Okay, so then we'll start a robotics club that lets everyone join, just not them. Hmm, there has to be a way to... Actually, I just got a better idea. Where are you going? I've got work to do. I'll see you girls tomorrow. And check this out. 
Whoa. That robot wouldn't be anything special if it wasn't for Simone. Exactly. Where is she anyway? Oh, there she is. All right, Paul, meet Dino, my new robot I built. I challenge you to a duel. Ooh. Oh gosh, not you again. We had a bet and you lost, fair and square. We both know that was far from fair. Well, you shouldn't have agreed then. That's your fault. I'm not battling you again. Oh, what's wrong? Are you scared? <laughs> scared of you? Ha! He looks scared to me. He doesn't want to lose to a girl. <laughs> Fine. But this time, when I beat you in front of everyone, you have to promise that you'll stick to playing with dolls and leave robots to the boys. And if I beat you, I take your place as president of the robotics club. Ha! Like that would ever happen. You got a deal. Yeah! This is gonna be good. Yeah, better than watching BattleBots finals. You got this, Simone. Is this gonna be two out of three? Or first round knockout wins? Just so there's no question who the best is, let's go two out of three. Round one. On your marks. Set. Go! Whatever. I was going easy on you. Just wait. Oh. Now you don't stand a chance. We'll see. Round two. Ready? Go! I told you. It's okay. There's still one round left. You can do it, Simone. Final round. Ready. Get set. Go! I've got you now. Not so fast. beat him. Thanks. But I don't understand. I didn't know those missiles could actually fire. Well, maybe you shouldn't underestimate a girl. Because girls can do anything boys can do. I guess you were right. So, now that you're president of the robotics club, does that mean you're kicking me out? Uh... No. I'll let you stay. And I'll even show you how to add your own missile launchers to your robot. What? Are you serious? Okay, so how it works is... Lemonade, iced tea, Coca-Cola. Has anyone seen Emmanuel? Uh, I don't think he came to school today. Then how are we supposed to play three and three? Trevor, see it. <laughs> I got it, I got it! What kind of pass was that? Here comes that new girl. Why is she dressed like a boy? Don't worry, I'll, I'll get rid of her. Here you go, Trevor. How'd she know your name? We're, we're in the same woodshop class together. Oh. I'll get lost. Wait, is it okay if I can play with you guys? So you can get hurt and cry? Not a chance! Go play hopscotch with the other girls. <laughs> But I'd rather play football. We do need someone on our team. There's no way I'm letting a girl play with us. We'll play two on three. Let's go. You think safe? Let's go. Blue, 42, set, hike! 
One alligator, two alligators, three alligators, four alligators, five alligators, six alligators, seven. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. You just finished sanding it down, and now all that's missing is some varnish. Oh, hey, Amy, um, unfortunately, Manuel's not here today, so I'm gonna have you partner with um, Trevor and Julian. Whoa, 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 what? No, I don't want her in our group. She'll mess up our project. Just put her with someone else. I didn't know you were making the decisions now, Trevor. You just feel lucky to have Amy in your group. You might learn a thing or two. Oh. Okay, you guys all can begin now. Shouldn't you draw an outline first? Don't tell me what to do. Um, do you mind if I help? No! I don't even know why you're in woodshop class anyway. You don't belong here. Uh, hey, don't hold it like that. You're going to... Break it. You messed me up. This wouldn't have happened if you weren't here. Hey, Mr. Smith, can we get a new wood board? Uh, Amy was distracting me. I'm getting shot! Oh! You haven't gotten a single kill yet. Wow! He died again! Ah. <laughs> Same guy's caught me like five times. He's gotta be hacking. If you stick to the high ground, you won't die so much. Okay. Like I'm really about to take advice from you. Run with your knife, you'll move faster. I died again! You're messing me up! Here, can I try? No! Girls don't know how to play Arsenal. You're just gonna mess up my stats. No, I won't. I guarantee I can get a lot more kills than you. Oh, <laughs> you got owned. <laughs> she said she guarantees it. <laughs> Look, just because you dress like a boy doesn't mean you can play like one. Why are you being so mean? You know I'm good at Roblox. Why would you know that? Yeah. Wait, wait. Are you guys like friends or something? <laughs> no, no. I, I would never be friends with a tomboy like her. Trevor. Why would you say something like that to Amy? You need to apologize to your sister right now. Sister? Guys, can you give us a few? You need to go say you're sorry. I'm not apologizing to her. She keeps trying to play with us and it's annoying. No, you should be happy that she wants to play with you. Not, not excluding her. Why can't you just stick to girly things? Like hopscotch or patty cake. She shouldn't be playing football or Roblox. She can play whatever she wants. Girls can do everything boys can do, if not better. <laughs> yeah, right. You really can't. Okay. You'll see. Because starting tomorrow, you have to include Amy in everything. No way. I am not hanging out with her at school. That is so embarrassing. It's not up for debate. It's either that or... I take away your iPad, and when we get home, your PS5. Wait, th that's not fair. It's last chance. Include her or no? <sighs> Fine. Mm -hmm. Get in the car. Trevor is not excited about having to include his sister. The next day, Trevor plays football again with his friends. When Amy comes up to play, he hesitates. But knowing he made a promise to his mom, he lets her join.
And to his surprise, her very first pass, she ends up throwing a touchdown. Then in woodshop class, Trevor still can't figure out how to complete the project. Just as he's about to give up, he finds out that Amy already completed the entire duck. Trevor and the teacher are both so impressed. Trevor finally starts to see how capable Amy really is. And then, after school, is when Amy really impresses Trevor and his friends. <sighs> Died again. I keep telling you to take the high ground. You know what? Why don't you try? Really? Okay. <laughs> Got him. God, nice shot. Got him, dude. Oh, that was so good. This is crazy. If you get one more kill, you win. I can't believe it! Oh. Nice job. Wow, that was amazing. You know, mom was right. Girls can do anything boys can do. It's not better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am sorry to keep you both waiting. You might want to have a seat for this. Why, is something wrong? Well, at this stage, it's still a little too early to know for sure, but... Based on the initial assessment, there is a high likelihood that your son may be on the autism spectrum. You know, autism is not- I know what autism is, doctor. I'm a professor at a university, for crying out loud. I can't believe this, Gwen. I told you that he should have been more responsive to his name by now. Oh my goodness. Does that mean he's not healthy? No, don't worry. He's perfectly fine. He might just have a little harder time learning certain things compared to other kids. That's all. That's all. Look, I know it's a lot to take in. I'll give you two some time. Can't believe this. So what are we gonna do now? What do you mean? He's our son. We're gonna stand by his side no matter what. Come on, Gwen. I'm a top professor at the most prestigious university in the country. I can't have a son that has learning issues. I need a smart child I can be proud of, not one with autism. Look, we could have another kid. I know this isn't easy, but we have to give him up for adoption. What? We are not giving up on chance. We're his parents. Besides, just because someone has autism, it doesn't make them any less intelligent. I'm not gonna argue about this, Gwen. It's either him or me. Now, decide. You know I can't make that decision. Please. This is your last chance, Gwen. You either give him up for adoption, or I'm gone. What's it gonna be? Fine. Have a nice life. <gasps> Gwen is devastated. She can't believe her husband just walked out on them. Her ex-husband moves on and quickly forgets all about Gwen. In no time, he meets another woman and finds out they're having a baby boy together. He's so excited. A lot of years pass, and Alan spends a lot of time helping his new son Samuel become a very successful student. Samuel constantly gets A's in all of his classes, and he even gets a near perfect score on the SAT. Samuel does so well that he ends up getting nominated for a full ride scholarship to a very prestigious university. Alan could not be any more proud of his son. 
They both get ready to attend the scholarship ceremony. Hello, are you here for the Darman Scholarship Ceremony? Actually, uh, my son's been nominated. He scored in the top one percentile on the SAT. Wow, that's very impressive. Well, go ahead and take a seat. We'll be announcing the winner momentarily. Thank you. Great. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the third annual Darman Scholarship Awards. Yeah. We will be awarding our highest scholarship to a very special student who scored the highest on the SATs. And we are so honored to announce that the winner of this year's Darman Scholarship is Chance Wilson. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, this is a mistake. Dad, stop. No, this is ridiculous. My son scored 1590 on the SATs. I thought this was a scholarship for the, for the smartest kid in the country. Well, actually it is. Why don't we let Chance tell his story? Go ahead, Chance. Hello, everyone. This is such an honor. I never dreamed of standing here to accept this award tonight. It would have never been possible if it wasn't for my mom, who never gave up on me. You see, ever since I can remember, I've struggled with autism. People always treat me differently and thought I wasn't smart enough. I even found out that my own dad gave up on me because of it. But my mom never gave up on me. Every night, she would read with me and patiently help me learn. She never once made me feel like I was less intelligent than the other kids. Because of her, I started doing really well in school. So well that I began getting straight A's in all my classes and ended up as one of the top students in the country. So you see, because my mom never gave up on me, I never gave up on myself. And I ended up getting a 1600 on the SAT. Perfect score. More importantly, I proved that just because you have autism, it doesn't make you any less intelligent. Are you okay? My grandmother passed. You made up a whole lot about your grandmother dying just to hang out with some girl. I'm so sorry. She is a hot girl, plus she is loaded. <laughs> you go and be with your family. We're a team. We got this. Thank you. Thank you.